In the last Elementor update, we got something new and it's called apps. We can find it back here in our Elementor settings. And basically, these are plugins that Elementor vouches for. They're saying that, hey, these are most compatible with Elementor. But here's the thing, you might not want this on your website. You might not want your clients stumbling into this area, purchasing Elementor add-ons and adding them to a site that you've already set up the environment for and messing that up. Or you might be like me and have some OCD issues where you really don't want ads or any type of unnecessary uh, clutter on your website. You wanna keep everything clean and minimal as possible. Well, Elementor did not give us any options to turn this off. So what I did is I created a way to turn these off. Check it out. I got this code snippet right here. And I got to give a shout out to my teammate Stefano at Lightbox for writing this piece of code. And all we got to do is copy and paste this. So let's copy it. If you have a child theme, go over to your child theme file editor and only do this if you do have a child theme. If you don't, I'll show you another way. But from here, you'll just go to your theme functions. Let's copy and paste that code snippet in. I paste. Let me give some space so you can see it. I'm going to update it. You do not need to change the code at all. And let's refresh the page. And now you can see that apps is gone from the menu. I'll show you one other way to do it because, you know, I used to put all of my PHP inside the theme files, but now I do use plugins for managing code. A good free plugin would be code snippets. You can just go back here and type it in and you'll see it come up. It is going to be this one right over here. I already have mine activated, so I'm gonna go over to my snippets. I'm gonna click on add new, and I wanna keep it on PHP, and then I'm gonna paste it in here. This time, I'm going to select on only run on administration area. That's gonna be this backend right here. Let's go ahead and give it a title. I'm gonna call this one hide apps, and then all we gotta do is save changes and activate. Let's go ahead and refresh and apps are gone. There is a link inside the description that could take you to the code. It's all free. There are no strings attached, but if you do want to say thank you, then you could do so by hitting that like and subscribe button. It does help to support this channel and it is very, very much appreciated. Well, that's it for this video and I'll be back again soon with another one. Thank you for watching.